So if you guys caught my video yesterday or you heard the news, the latest leak regarding the next Grand Theft Auto Online update is that it's going to be themed around nightclubs, buying them and running them around Los Santos. Well, today I'm going to be taking you through all the locations of the nightclubs in Los Santos, showing you the ones we're probably going to be able to buy, run and own as well. Now, according to the Grand Theft Auto Wiki, they break down nightclubs in three different categories. You have nightclubs, strip clubs and bars. Now, some of the places we're going to be looking at today will share similar features of both, like it might be a nightclub and a bar. However, I'm going to be breaking them down based off of the category that they've been given in their online database. So let's start with the nightclubs first. And there's actually 11 of these guys in game, which is really cool. So the first one is Tequila La. So Tequila La is located on Eclipse Avenue. And this is actually one that we can enter during a strangers and freak mission in single player. It's called Vinewood Souvenirs Willy. Now it can also be entered in Grand Theft Auto Online during a biker clubhouse contract mission. And Tequila La is pretty cool. It's a multi-leveled club with a stage Obviously, you would have a band on there. There's sort of this underground room with like a pool table and some other little places to hang out. So that's the first location right there. We also see our heist members uh, hanging out there after the first mission. But of course, outside of these rare opportunities, we are not allowed to go in them. So that's the first location right there. That's Tequila La. Moving on to the second location today, probably the most famous, that is Bahama Mama's West the counterpart of Liberty City's Bahama Mamas. And this is located right next to one of the CEO offices, uh, Mays Bank West. So it's really close to that. In fact, it's right across the street. This is the nightclub with the full-fledged interior, the dance floor, uh, the place to hang out, the bar and stuff like that. Uh, this is the interior of the Rockstar recently closed. So maybe this was actually due to uh, the fact that they're going to be adding this in a future update. The next bar is Singleton's. So Singleton's is technically a barbecue restaurant, but it's also a singles bar and nightclub. So it's located on Alta Street in downtown Vinewood. It's actually located right next to another place we're going to be looking at, Pitchers. Now, this building is inaccessible to the players, but it serves as a bar that acts as a drinking location when undertaking friend activities. Now, probably the funniest part about this is the sign happy hour. It's shaped in, uh, well, you know what it looks like. So this is another location right here, Singletons. I'm sure you guys have seen this many of times in GTA 5. The next location, the fourth nightclub today is the Hen House. Now in GTA 5 single player, the Hen House can be bought by the player. However, the player himself cannot enter the club. It's inaccessible even if the player buys it. So the Hen House is actually located in Polito Bay. It's one of the few that's outside of Los Santos. Now this is called a gentleman's club and bar. This is one of the few that's kind of both. But the Hen House is a really big nightclub. So if it is added to the game, it's going to be a massive location. In fact, I think it's bigger than Bahama Mama's and Tequila La, which is saying something. So another really cool location right there. Nightclub number five is Clappers. So Clappers is located on Vinewood Boulevard and Power Street in downtown Los Santos. And it's actually inside the lobby of the Von Krastenberg Hotel. So if this one is going to be added, I'm not sure how Rockstar is going to give us access to it. Maybe they'll have to open up the Von Krastenberg Hotel too. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It has that giant billboard with like the red arrow tilting down. It says clappers on top and sort of cursive. So this one's really cool. It's pretty colorful. Uh, and it's in a really awesome spot too because like you walk onto the street and it's got like the Vinewood stars of all the celebrities and whatnot. So pretty cool location. That's clappers. Number six today is Cockatoos. So Cockatoos is located on Hawick Avenue. Although you probably know it as the, you know, the yellow glowing nightclub right next to the Los Santos Custom Shop. Now, according to the GTA Wiki, it's most likely a meeting place for homosexual and transsexual people, as evidenced by the customer standing outside the club at night, the majority of which are cross-dressed men, although female customers can be seen as well. The establishment is inaccessible and plays no role in the storyline whatsoever, although this one is pretty cool. A pink limousine spawns outside of it. It like glows yellow in the nighttime, so this one's really cool. That is Cockatoos. Number seven today, the Lust Resort. So the Lust Resort is located on the corner of Eclipse Boulevard and Milton Road, and it's actually directly opposite of Tequila La. So this one is bar and nightclub. It sort of has this like upstairs patio that we cannot access. 
There's not a whole lot going on here other than it glows red, which is kind of cool. So at nighttime, all these places look awesome. But this one glows red and it looks really cool. Number eight today is Society. So you've probably seen Society. It's located on West Eclipse Boulevard. It's actually on the ground floor of the Schlongberg Sachs building. And it's also located right next to the Eclipse Towers, which is why probably so many of you guys have seen it. At nighttime, it glows pink and purple. And there will actually be a kind of group of civilians that line up outside in order to try and get inside. So that's pretty cool right there. That's another nightclub that you've probably seen, but really probably haven't thought of. The number nine spot today, we have The Vault. So The Vault is located on Strawberry Avenue on the southeastern corner of Legion Square. I'm sure you guys have seen this because it's the bank looking building that has glowing blue and yellow lights coming from it. There's also advertisements for The Vault all over the place. This one at night as well will also have people that stand outside and are just waiting there to get inside. So this is a pretty cool location too. Um, and it's also massive. I think it used to be a like an old bank that they converted into a nightclub. It has its own logo and stuff too. This one is definitely one of the more detailed ones. Not as detailed as like Tequila La or Bahama Mamas, but definitely one of the more detailed ones we're gonna look at today. After that, you've got the Dungeon Crawler at the number 10 spot. This one will also have people waiting outside. This one is like menacingly glowing dark red. It's located on Eclipse Boulevard in West Vinewood, and it's actually based off of a real-life club called the Viper Room, which is kind of why it gets this really dark vibe, the Dungeon Crawler. So again, very cool stuff right there. And at the number 11 spot today, the final official nightclub is the Eclipse Lounge. Eclipse Lounge is also located on the corner of Eclipse Boulevard and North Archer Avenue in West Vinewood. And this one is probably the most lighthearted of them all. Its color scheme is red and light blue. It has a uh, patio area out front and an upstairs patio that you can actually go on to. So those right there are the 11 official nightclubs that you can go in in Grand Theft Auto Online. Or I shouldn't say go in, but that you can see and that are available in the game. And likely, we're going to be able to buy. Let's move over to strip clubs. So the most famous one and the one that you can go inside is the Vanilla Unicorn. So we all know this one. It has single player routes built into it. And online, you can go inside. So I wonder how this would work. As far as this update goes, um, I think it would be cool to own the Vanilla Unicorn, but I think that because players can use it as a general strip club and because everything you do in single player, I doubt Rockstar would incorporate that. So that leaves us with two other inaccessible clubs that can be found in the world, and that is Hornbills. So Hornbills is another strip club located on Eclipse Boulevard in West Vinewood. Now at night, you can see ladies spawned out front. You can also see a security guard standing at the entrance wearing a black or white t-shirt. And this is pretty cool. Uh, I mean, you guys have probably seen this as well. There's like a bird on the front. It's like glowing red and glowing orange. So this is one of the more famous clubs in the game aside from the Vanilla Unicorn, that's Hornbills. And the other location is Pitchers. Now, Pitchers is a gay club in Vinewood, but it can also be purchased by the protagonist. Its colors are pink and black, and it's located at the intersection of Clinton Avenue and Alta Street in downtown Vinewood. So again, this one can be bought by the protagonist, but I actually don't think that will have an impact on our characters buying them. And what's interesting is its logo is very similar to the same bodybuilder that's on the Hercules nightclub in Liberty City. It was featured in the Ballad of Gay Tony. Now, the last category of property we're going to be looking at today are bars. Now, some of these bars are used for drinking activities. Some are just inaccessible. So these are your traditional, like, go to have a drink bar. Uh, the first one is Shenanigans Bars. Shenanigans Bars is located in Legion Square. Uh, it's kind of an Irish bar. The next one is Hyman, which is a cocktail bar. And this is actually located on Roy Lorenstein Boulevard in Rancho. It's got a neon sign that glows really bright at night. You have the Lost MC Clubhouse, which actually opened up during the Bikers DLC, but you can go there for a drinking activity. So I don't know if Rockstar would end up reusing that. You have the Bay Bar. The Bay Bar is located in Polito Bay. So like the Hen House, it's one of the few places that's actually up there. After that, you've got the Mojito Inn. 
The Mojito Inn is also located in Palito Bay. So we've got a couple that are actually up sort of in Palito Bay, which is pretty cool. The majority of these are in Los Santos. That one's in Palito Bay. After that, you have the Yellow Jack Inn, which is accessible. I'm sure you guys know this one. Uh, you can actually go inside. I don't think this one would become one you could own just because you can go inside and do other activities. Uh, and the final three we're going to be looking at today are inaccessible, but they're still available in game. The first one is Mirror Park Tavern which is located on Mirror Park Boulevard, if that wasn't obvious enough. That's one bar you could use. The next one is called Out of Towners. So Out of Towners is located on Del Perro Pier. That would be pretty cool to own a place on the Del Perro Pier with like the roller coaster and whatnot. And I lied, those are the only ones that we're gonna be looking at today. So there's actually eight bars in total. So let's recap the properties that we've looked at today. We've looked at 11 nightclubs, Tequila La, Bahama Mamas West, Singletons, The Hen House, Clappers, Cockatoo, The Lust Resort, Society, The Vault, The Dungeon, Crawler, and Eclipse. We've looked at three strip clubs, Hornbills, Pitchers, and The Vanilla Unicorn, and eight bars, Shenanigans, Hyman, The Lost MC Clubhouse, The Bay Bar, Mojito Inn, Yellow Jack Inn, Mirror Park Tavern, and Out of Towners. So if you're counting, that's 22 total nightclub-esque locations that we could be able to purchase, own, and run in Grand Theft Auto Online. So that's pretty cool. The majority of these are in Los Santos. Some of them are in Palito Bay. Some of them are in Sandy Shores. Now, once again, this only includes locations that are already pre-existing. There's a good chance that Rockstar could create like underground clubs that we operate where they sort of just take like old buildings that might not have any sort of branding on them at all. And we use that as sort of our interior. Now, I would hope that Rockstar doesn't do this, but there is a chance that that's something they do. But those right there are 22 nightclub, bar, strip club options that we could be able to own in Los Santos. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Out of the 22 that we've mentioned today, which one of these is your favorite and which ones would you want to own the most? I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of Bahama Mamas West. I'm sure we're gonna see some cockatoos and clappers and the hen house and horn bills, but let me know your thoughts, opinions more in the comments down below on these locations. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.